Hello, welcome to the program English 911. And my name is Skyla. So this last week, I've been reading even more questions. It's always a pleasure to receive questions from you. And for today, our first question is from Dima. And Dima wrote in, he said, What is the difference between good and well? When to use which? Well, Dima, here the easy answer is that good is an adjective and well is an adverb. So here we go, adjective. So this would be describing a noun. For example, that's a good horse, that's a good car. Well would be an, is an adverb. For example, it would be describing an, a verb. For example, you run well, you fight well, I sleep very well, those things. However, there are exceptions to this. Like most things in English, there are slight exceptions to rules. And for good and well, this is in with verbs of sensations or feelings. For example, that pie smells good or I feel good. So you have good as an adjective, well as an adverb, but then with feelings, you would also say good. For example, if you say though the pie smells well, it means that the pie has the ability to smell, which we know a pie is not alive. So hopefully that is understandable. And now our second question. Our second question is from Vitya. And Vitya writes in, What is the difference between if or whether? So here, let's just clear the board here so we can write it in. If. If is such a lovely word, isn't it? I always like the word. If. And whether. Okay. Well, here's the difference, basically. You know, and many people say, say, should we distinguish between these words? Is there a difference? Well, there is a, there is a difference. So we have if is for a conditional idea. So here, let's write this in, conditional. And then whether though is for a possibility. So for example, if would be like more of a yes or a no. And whether is for a possibility. For example, let's have, let me know if you are going to town today. I want to know if you are going to town today, but I don't want to know if you are not going to town today. If I say, let me know whether you are going to town today, this means I want to know if you are going, and I also want to know if you are not going. So that's our difference between if and whether, conditional and possibility. Possibility. Okay, so hopefully that was understandable. and. Now on to our third question of the day. Our third question is from Pasha. And Pasha writes in, he says, what is the difference between two, two and two? <laughs> well, when I just say it, you can't tell what I'm talking about, can you? So let's write this up. Here first we have two, two, and two. So first two, This means like a direction, right? So we are moving towards something or it is part of an infinitive of a verb, like to have, to hate, to love. However, this to, this technically means also. So you can have this meaning direction and this meaning also. So I also love to eat chocolate. What girl doesn't, right? Or I too like to eat chocolate. Two equals also. And this two, well, this equals our number two. So let's see. If you go to the store, you may two buy two cabbages, two heads of cabbage. Two, two, and two. Remember, towards something also and the number two. Okay. So Thank you for coming today. It's been a pleasure, and this next week when you're doing your English homework, 
or you have any English questions, just write them in. I'm waiting to hear your questions. See you next time. Goodbye. Ha <laughs> ha